friends, it's Amanda. Welcome to my fourth recipe in my Croctober 2020 series. This week I am collabing with my friend Valerie who will also be sharing a Crock-Pot recipe. I'll have her link as well as the whole Croctober playlist in the description box down below, but let's hop into this week's recipe. Now we just sing the la 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 Right, guys this week we're going to be making some cheesesteak stuffed peppers i always use these frozen steakums i think they taste really good and the meat's really tender and it's just always good we can always get shaved steak from your grocery store so i'm just breaking up the steakums this is how they come and then i break them into pieces and i'm using two boxes but it ended up being a little bit too much so i would recommend only using one box if you're trying these and while that cooks down, I'm going to chop up an onion and get my peppers ready. I just cut off the tops and then remove the centers and then chop up whatever pieces I can use and we'll throw them in with the steak. And as you can see, the meat cooked down so much, and at this point I'm going to add my onions and peppers, and I'm going to season the meat up with some garlic powder, some oregano, and some pepper, and let that finish cooking. And you're going to want to drain the grease. There's lots of grease with these, but I found a trick where you line your like colander with some tin foil, and then it collects all the grease at the bottom. So I thought that was really cool, so I wanted to share it. And then once the meat is drained, you can add some cheese. I think cheese whiz would be really good in here too, but all I had was some shredded cheddar. All right, let the meat and cheese hang out. The cheese will melt a little bit, and then you can start your peppers. Well, I'm making mine a little bit of Halloween-y, but you don't have to do this. I'm just cutting little pumpkin faces in these orange peppers, and it's super easy and really cute. There your peppers all ready for Halloween. You're going to stack them in your crock pot. If they don't stand on their own, you can like trim the bottom so they're more flat. And then you're just going to add that steak meat right to your peppers as much as you want. And then I topped with some provolone cheese. And then you're going to cook these on low for four hours. This is literally how I feel right now. Alright, so I figured I would share what I made on the side with these as well. So I did some like butter, garlicky Parmesan noodles. So I just have some butter and garlic cooking down in a pan. And then I'm going to add some shell noodles. Stir that really well and season that with some parsley, garlic powder, and some pepper. And then I'll sprinkle in some Parmesan cheese. All right, so let's get this plated up. I have my sad but still kind of cute pumpkin pepper, and then I have some of my butter noodles on the side. I think the butter noodles really complemented this, and you kind of ate everything together, and it was super good. So this is my crock pot recipe for this week. 
And don't forget to check out Valerie's video. I have it linked down below. And I have a whole Croctober playlist linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.